Why do eyedroppers have a tendency to blurp out ink from time to time, but piston fillers don't? That's a great question. And I've talked about eyedropper um, you know, conversion and burping ink and stuff like that, but I don't know that I've ever done a direct thoughtful comparison between an eyedropper and a piston. And why is that the case? Um, so just for a simple um, you know, uh, um, example that I'd like to show, I have a Noodler's Ahab that I've taken the piston mechanism out, so it's just eyedropperable. Um, and I have a Twisby 580. So Twisby 580, um, it's actually 580 all, not that that matters for this example, but um, it's got an ink capacity of about 1.4 milliliters. Um, eyedropper conversion on a Noodler's Ahab is huge, it's about six milliliters. So why is it burping out? Okay, so there's a couple reasons. Basically the reason that ink burps out, it has to do with pressure, that's the reason. That's why um, it can be an issue on airplanes sometimes, and that's why it's an issue with heat. Whether it's leaving a pen in your car, or holding a pen in your hand for a long time, it has to do with heat buildup, which increases the pressure of the air that's in your ink chamber. And when you're writing, your ink is down between the air and your feed. So when the, the, the heat pressurizes the air in here, that causes it to push ink out of your nib, which causes it to burp. So when you're writing for a long period of time, you're increasing the likelihood of burping happening if you have a large volume of air inside your pen. So why doesn't it happen with cartridge converter pens? Because a couple of reasons, when you have a cartridge converter pen, you're not directly touching the converter. So you're touching the body of the pen, which is not going to transfer the heat to the ink chamber. Also, it's a much smaller ink chamber that you're dealing with. Let me pull a Z24 here. So for example, like a Lamy Safari, you're not gonna get burping out of this pen pretty much ever um, because you got your ink chamber here. It's a much smaller ink chamber and it's got basically an, a built-in insulator here that is going to keep you from um, directly touching your ink chamber. So that naturally kind of works um, as an insulator. Um, so when, you're, when you have a pen like the Ahab in its piston form, it actually kind of works as an insulator as well. So the piston on the Ahab as an example, and this is probably a bad example to use because most pens are not this way, they have the piston built into the pen like the Twisby, but this you've got the ink chamber here, but then you've got a whole other separate chamber that insulates. So when your hand is touching it, you're not directly touching that ink chamber there. So it's almost in effect kind of like a cartridge converter in that way. However, it is not a cartridge converter. Nathan Tardif will get mad if you call an Ahab a cartridge cartridge converter pen, because it is not, it is a piston. However, with the Twisby or most other piston filling pens, the piston mechanism is actually built into the pen. So when you're touching the ink chamber, you're literally touching where the ink is stored. There's no insulating factor here. So you think, why is it you get burping with an eyedropper and not with a piston? I think it's two reasons. Number one is when you have an eyedropper pen, you're dealing with a much larger ink capacity typically than with a piston filling pen. Because with a piston filling pen, you have the whole piston mechanism that takes up like the back half of the pen or maybe even more. With an eyedropper pen, it's all ink space, baby. So when you get to an ink level that drops to about half, you have an ink uh, uh, an ink reservoir that's got, you know, for the Ahab, for example, six millimeter, milliliters. When it gets down to about half, you have three milliliters of ink and three milliliters of air. In a piston filling pen, Twisby is about 1.4 milliliters. So even when it gets halfway, you only have 0.7 milliliters, which is about typical of a cartridge converter uh, measurement of just straight up air. So three milliliters of air, 0.7 milliliters of air. It's a whole lot more air to heat up and pressurize and force ink out of the nib. So I think that in and of itself is a factor. Just the sheer volume of ink slash air that you're dealing with when you're writing with these pens. But another thing, and I don't know that I've ever really heard anybody talk about this, but as I was kind of like deeply reflecting why this might be, I was thinking about when you're actually holding the pen. Like when I hold a pen, I hold it with my three fingers here, which I'm touching the grip of the pen, which doesn't really heat up the pen much. What's heating up the pen is holding it in the cradle of my hand here, okay? Now there's probably some heat transfer that's happening through my fingers, sure. And if you hold your pen further back, like I don't know anybody who holds your pen this far back, but you might have your thumb a little further back, that's gonna heat up the pen a little bit too. But I think most of it probably happens in the crook of your hand here between your thumb and your forefinger. So if you hold an eyedropper pen right there and your eyedropper is filled halfway, look at where the crook of your hand is. It's right on that section where there would be air 
in there. So as you're writing, your hand is heating up that air and it's forcing ink to then come out of the pen, or at least increase the likelihood of it. If I hold a pen like the Twisby, I'm holding the grip of the pen, which I'm not touching the ink chamber at all when I hold it there. And in the crook of my hand is right on the piston mechanism, which is behind the piston seal. So all it's heating up is the air that's behind the piston seal. So the piston seal is actually, actually acting as an insulator from the heat in the crook of my hand. Not to say I can't be having heat coming from my fingers, but it's probably significantly less because it, the crook of my hand is behind that piston seal. That, I think, is just as much a factor as is the ink capacity as to why you don't get burping out of a piston filling pen nearly as much as you do out of an eyedropper.